Health experts have again reiterated the need to address chronic kidney disease through early detection, intervention and preventive measures as it has become more prevalent among young people. The call came on the heels of the introduction of 60 dialysis machines at a private medical center in the nation's capital, Abuja. The machines, experts say, will help increase the number of available machines and reduce downtime and machine breakdown recorded at public hospitals for patients seeking renal disease management through dialysis and kidney transplant procedures. Aisha Salihu now reports. End-stage renal disease, although a global disease, is however more burdensome in low- and middle-income countries. According to data, it accounts for 8% of all medical admissions and 42% of renal admissions in Nigeria. Experts in the sector attribute the leading causes of kidney disease to high blood pressure, diabetes, obstructive uropathy, HIV and kidney inflammation from a variety of infections. ESRD may be irreversible, but experts admit with early detection and routine medical checks, it can be managed. And there are some things that are peculiar about kidney disease in Nigeria. One, it affects the younger people who are in their economically productive age group, between the age of 30 and 50. Unlike in the developed countries where it is a disease of the elderly, Currently, dialysis one session costs between 50000 and 70000 depending on where you are doing it. How many of us can afford that? And you need to do it three times a week. Kidney transplantation costs between $18 million and $23 million. Part of what I have been, I've, I've started to do myself is to sponsor a motion that all FMCs in Nigeria must be of high standard. We should be able to have a semblance of facilities that we have in India or in UK or elsewhere. It doesn't cost an, an arm and a leg. The government has looked into this situation and uh, it has noticed that there is a rising rise of a uh, number of kidney diseases all around the country. So, uh, uh, processes are on the way. There are discussions as to how to uh, leverage against what is actually existing now and then how to improve on what's available to improve on the access of care. While patients decry the cost of managing the disease, experts are advocating partnerships with all health institutions to clamp down on the disease burden. You see how the way they subsidize HIV drugs and all. Yes, I think they should do the same thing too for both dialysis patients and people that have done transplants. Because if you do your transplant, the the drugs are really expensive, and sometimes you save up money, twenty three million naira to do your transplant. At the end, you still live on drugs till you die, and the drugs are not cheap. What government can do is to shore up and support support dialysis patients and say, okay, look, you know, uh, we you, for each dialysis rather than pay fifty thousand naira, you pay you know thirty thousand or twenty thousand naira. That is the only way to help in the interim. Ultimately, we produce our own consumables, we do our own surgeries, we do well, hopefully produce even our own dialysis machines, and then we're, we're free and go. With the growing trend of kidney disease severity moving to eighth position in 2019, ahead of malaria and HIV, with projections that by the year 2040, it will become the leading cause of death all over the world. Stakeholders say more needs to be done to arrest it. Aisha Salihu, Trust TV News, Abuja.